Kudamundra at the Bimbadeen property. This is managed by the Young Local Aboriginal Land Council. We're working with Ian Davidson on providing the community members on management practices. Today has been about relearning how to assess country, to be able to look at what the different parts of the components are of country, and to be able to put that into five different categories, which includes the layers, the number of large old trees, whether there's woody weeds or vines, whether the ground layer is weedy, and whether the ground layer has diverse range of plants and it's understandable terms so that land managers, including traditional owners, can actually do their own assessments with some training. So Ian took them out into the property and did some plan identification. Boxgum grassy woodland is a woodland that has a grassy understory with uh, scattered shrubs and usually trees that are like yellow box, white box and Blakely's red gum. The Boston Grassy Woodlands is currently a critically endangered community. There is a lot of diversity here, so we've, as we've learnt in being out here, we, we've got a lot of native grasses and plants that are on the property that we, we weren't even aware of. What, what, what all those different things are? So, so many of the species that we find here, and there may be over a hundred uh, in, just in this patch alone, were of value to traditional owners, and that included everything from food through to medicinal foods, through to things that were useful for flavouring food and, and making tools. So they do have layers, so usually it's the overstory, so that's the tree canopy level. Sometimes it's, there's regrowth, which is a layer that covers between half and two thirds of the height. And then scattered shrubs, patchy, they can be a metre high, up to two or three metres. And then a ground layer, which is generally tussocky with tussock grasses. Just walking along, pretty much every little thing that you're walking on is, is native. And this particular block is of very high quality because not only does it have the components of the overstory, the trees, but also it has some shrubs and it has a diverse ground layer of native forbs and wildflowers. This one's called Tick Tree Fire. So threats for areas like this is uh, potentially overgrazing. If an area is grazed continually, you tend to lose the palatable plants. These sort of areas are usually in the best condition, have a, have a wide array of wildlife that, that use them. We got so much out of this in the two days that we were out here and got taught by Ian, it's wonderful. I love areas like this. What it is, is one, it's a window into what it was like. It actually gives you a sense of what's possible, but also it's something that can actually be improved uh, through some, some active management. Local Land Services are really proud to be working with Young Lark today on such a significant project and ensuring the longevity of this very important community.